Hey guys, Shane here, Crypto Fish YouTube channel. So today we have a little Ripple XRP news, and uh, we'll see what my rigs did over the weekend and see how that Zell cash is going. All right, real quick before we go on, I have something going on called Bitcoin Fridays where I give away Bitcoin every Friday. To be entered to win, you have to be subscribed and you got to hit that notification bell below. So when the enter to win video comes out, you'll be notified. All right. So real quick before we go on, do that and we'll see what's going on with Ripple. All right. So we got two bits of news. I don't think I'm not going to read the whole articles. I don't think. Um, so Ripple's Corey Johnson considers Swift as X Current's biggest competitor. And if you watch the recommendation I gave you a couple videos back about the channel to the lifeboats he thinks that Swift and Ripple will kind of work hand in hand um, in a recent interview with Benzica Fintech Focus Ripple's chief market strategist Corey Johnson discussed the test cases of Ripple and its biggest competitor Swift um, while discussing the test case of Ripple, Corey mentions that it is really expensive and hard to move money across borders. Also, it is harder for a small business to get involved across the border due to exchange excess charges, which in turn reduce their profit. He mentioned that there are many banks who are already tied up with Ripple and the customers of these banks want to move their money fast with fewer charges. In this scenario, he said the banks recognize that they will lower their costs to customers in the market share which leads them to buy Ripple's software. Further, he mentioned that Ripple's biggest competitor of their ex-current product, Swift, an international banking consortium. Swift has a rate that senses up to 600 basis points, he said. Imagine if you send money from one country to the other. You don't know if, you got, you don't know if it got there. You don't know where along the way the information got lost, and they never send you information back at the moment that you send it. You have... You have got to kind of wait days and days to receive back or even acknowledgement of a problem. That was the state of the art until Ripple entered the marketplace. So you, there's videos out there where Ripple will do a cross-border um, transaction and it takes in here for four to eight seconds, whereas Swift, it'll take a couple days. So that's basically the gist of this article. Uh, and the next one, some more good news for Ripple. Google expert developer joins Ripple to lead crypto-powered payments network RippleNet. Um, so it's basically just going over how the um, executive slash developer from Google. Let me see his name right here real quick. If I can find it. Yes, right here. Sarhanji reportedly joins Google in 2015 when the tech giant acquired Jive Mobile a startup that he founded to develop technology for wireless carriers to implement rich communication system. So basically they hired this guy from Google to um, head up RippleNet going forward, which is good news. was a uh, top guy in Google as far as the software end uh, is concerned. So more and more good news for Ripple. Uh, I did actually... I did actually uh, convert some of my Ethereum Classic to Ripple here recently. I'll show you. I think it was about $50 worth. So now I have, you'll see down here, 102 Ripple, $46 worth. Just so I could have some of my mining um, mining profits converted into Ripple because I really think Ripple is going to shoot up. All right, so this week so far we're sitting at $12.55. I did get a uh, Pearl Masternode payout, as you can see right here, another 16 coins. That makes the second payout, I believe. Second payout from um, Pearl. So I believe it's every two weeks I'll get a Masternode payout from them. Um, Raw cash is still going good. Got 54.4 coins, or $4.13. That's uh, about three and a half days. So if we do the math... We see 4.13 divided by 3, basically three and a half days. It's a dollar 18 a day on that Nvidia rig. Um, again, that's right there. That's almost 30 cents more than Ethereum. Now about 20 cents more than Ethereum Classic per day. 
So I'm going to keep mining raw cash for the time being and see how it goes. Uh, 424 Delight, 33 cents worth, and BTC, $5.47. I just cashed that out over here and um, started going back to Ethereum Classic. Now I only got $1.37. So 12.55 for the week. I should pass last week and probably the previous week as far as value mine for the week. Uh, total value mine 869.89 so far, up about 20 some odd dollars. So all in all, still going up. So I guess I can't complain. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you have any questions or comments, just put them down below. I'll be sure to get back to you. Um, be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and if you liked the video, hit that thumbs up. I'd appreciate that too. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.